Why would I be good on Survivor? Because I've already done it before. I failed to outwit, outplay, and outlast. The way I played the game initially rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. And I was cocky and I was arrogant and that put me in a bad spot. That put me in a spot I couldn't come back from. <laughs> One thing is I had a hard time adapting to the island life, to what it meant to truly and physically survive within the environment we were thrust into. I think I made up for that by showing a lot of strength and challenges. And that definitely pulled through to through the merge. Um, and when I won a couple individual immunity challenges, my game, pl my uh, challenge play was strong. I mean, I was blindsided on the show. I, I was completely and utterly blindsided when I was voted off. Um, I thought the alliance that I had going wasn't gonna turn on me, but see, that's the thing is I was playing a naive game. Since being voted off, I've studied the game even more fervently than before. I thought I had it down when I got chosen for the, fir the first time, and I thought I was in it to win it. The purpose of the game, it's almost like a social experiment. It is a social experiment, and that's the most important part of the game to me. It's built to see what people are willing to do. And I'm willing to make bold moves. I'm willing to do it all now. I think the definition of sole survivor that I was really holding on to was inaccurate. Um, so far, I've figured out that achieving the title of sole survivor and really the definition you need to be um, striving for is that it's not a selfish role. The reason you win is because of everybody else. I think the only person that really rivals me now in terms of strategy is the first soul survivor ever.